G'day folks, figured I'd give you a bit of a uh, Wednesday update. It's been terrible weather lately and I've only just managed to get this area to dry out. Well, somewhat. At least I can get out of here and get into this pile of junk. Every bit's got to be scrapped and disposed of. And we've got two more on here too. That's a Dakin inverter. It's been left open for ages so it's got corrosion and crap through it. It's a real mess. That one there, I thought it was a Mitsubishi Heavy, but it's actually uh, LG. Again, with a MPS inverter. Nice coppery bits. I picked up a ladder from the scrapyard to fix. Um, just missing one of those pushing pins on the other side, I think. One of them's missing. Yeah, that one. It's supposed to be like that. But still good, not broken. Uh, yeah, look forward to videos on these in the next few days. I'll try and get into them, pull them all to bits. And I've got my uh, priming compound for this polypropylene so I can spray these a different colour now. Um, front tyre tubes replaced, I've just got to put the back one in. It's not an easy job at all, that's why I've been putting it off. It's actually very hard to get these in compared with car tyres and things. I could have done four car tyres in the amount of time it took to do this. But it's done and it's an extra heavy thick tube so it should last a lot longer problem with the old one was, even though it had the right numbers stamped on it, I think its diameter was a bit bigger than it should have been. And it all bunched up inside. All those creases were from it being bunched up inside the tyre. So that's how that one failed. It's cracked. Rubbish. And look forward to a video on this one. That would be this one's final video before I get rid of it. i to keep cleaning out odds and ends and things and just make more room. With the dats and out as well to play with later. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to be working on the bike and get that running again so I can have some fun, get some practice. Uh, definitely got to get, get to know this one really well before I try the YZ465. Still haven't done anything with it yet, but we'll start ordering parts one day. Yeah, just got to get rid of this bloody pink plastic, that's atrocious. <laughs> I ain't riding a girl's bike. Not that there's anything really, I really care about the colour so much. From, it doesn't make any physical difference, it's still a bike, but yeah, no pink here. Just a black or camouflage green. I'll try and get some camouflage paint. That should do everything quite well. So that should be all for now. Oh yeah, I had a look at this thing last night. It's a nice vintage Black & Decker power drill, but the field windings are all cooked and short. It's had it. You can go in the bin too. A bit unfortunate, died early. Had, didn't have any much use on it. But it's just not worth fixing. So that's that. And thanks for watching.